we are visiting the quaint town of Batavia, Illinois. Batavia is one of the oldest towns in Kane County, and it was founded in 1833. During the Industrial Revolution, Batavia was known for the Windmill City, home of six American-style windmill manufacturing companies. Its beautiful downtown area is nestled along the scenic Fox River. Batavia is definitely a fun town to hang out at. However, today, our story takes us to Soma Studios in Batavia, where we will spend time with a local artist who's competing in an international art competition. So without further ado, time to roll the intro. Slam dunk, are you ready to make me? When we entered the studio, it was very quiet and peaceful. The only sound we could hear was the spray of an airbrush and the occasional air compressor kicking in. As I moved closer, I introduced myself to Jose Art, artist and body painter. And standing meticulously still, Holly Johnson, international yoga teacher and model. And they will be competing in the World Body Painting Festival 2020. So I have to admit, when Jose invited us over to film the body art painting project for this competition, I really didn't have much understanding of what body art painting was all about. Is it erotic? Is it taboo? It was like some exotic, off the beat path adventure we were embarking on. So I did what I normally do when confronted with a conundrum. I grabbed my phone, and type the word Google. It was unbelievable. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was like crawling out of a rabbit hole and into a technicolor world for the first time. I wanted to learn more about the World Body Painting Festival, so I asked Jose. Every year uh, they do doing uh, the World Body Painting Festival in Austria, but this year for the coronavirus, uh, they make their uh, online. Oh, okay, so cool. It was like, this year it was like uh, 600 uh, people for like 57 countries. The World Body Painting Festival has been taking place since 1998. The WBF has been a leader in creating the modern body painting art movement. Each year, leading artists in brush and sponge, airbrush, special effects makeup, and hairdressing converge to the southern region of Austria to compete in this prestigious event. And this is all going on today, correct? No, it's, it's a week. Oh, okay. Yeah, today is, uh, that, this is the category for today, airbrush. Oh, okay. So how long does it normally take to complete one of these projects? For this competition, they give us uh, eight hours. Eight hours? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's a lot of time, but it's a lot of work. When Jose says it's a lot of time and work, he's not kidding. His creative process starts out with an idea and a sketch. This project is a psychedelic circus-themed body painting. 
It takes a whole crew of people to help make this possible. So Jose, how did you get started in art? Well, I've been painting with airbrush about 20 years, for about 20 years, and I started like when I was five. Great. I went to art school in, in my country, in Mexico, three years. Uh -huh. And then I started, um, when I came here, uh, I go to a lot of classes. I went to a lot of classes. Great. Right. That's just amazing how this all comes into life. It's got to be hard for the model to stand still for that amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my sister. Somebody wanted to get into body painting. What what do you recommend for people starting out? You need to know how to draw first, and if you want with airbrush, you need to practice a lot of airbrush. Mm -hmm. A lot of airbrush work. Yeah, I can imagine. Many people can do it, but you need to know how to draw and how to use it. On a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? 